Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Bandai SH Figure Arts Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael and Michelangelo. Now, I did Leonardo back in the summer after I got back from Comic-Con. My camera had broken during the trip, so that video came out kind of screwball. If you look at it, the colors are all off, and it looks like it's Krang playing with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy. So when I got Donatello later on, I felt like a review wasn't really needed because it's pretty much the same body. So... This is kind of catching up on the series, kind of redoing a look at these figures while looking at the two newest editions that have different accessories. As you can see, it's the standard figure arts box for this line. As a picture of the figure has the window showing most of the stuff. On the sides, we have graphics of kind of the original cartoon look, but yeah, a little bit different. The pictures of both figures. Down here is the unreadables. Pretty much says something like, we made you buy the same figure four times <laughs> with just some alternate heads and some weapons. What's interesting here is they put a uh, use of die cast metal parts in the legs and joints on Michelangelo's package but not on Raphael's. Then on the other side you just get their names, same thing for the top, and then on the bottom you get the bigger version of the side graphics. So even though I know what I'm getting into here after having Leonardo and Donatello, I'm gonna get this open and see what all four of them look like together. And there we go, all out of the package. And like I said, I knew what to expect here. The base bodies are pretty much the same as the first two turtles. It's just that you get those different personalities to add to the group. Getting all four of them together, is magical. <laughs> magical. What the hell am I talking about? I read some people saying they're only going to get Donatello because he's the best turtle or Leonardo because he's their favorite. For me, I gotta have all four. It's a package deal. It's just that each personality plays off each other. It's all or nothing. The colors are great here. The paints, the articulation, of course, but the sculpt on top of that, it matches what I have in my head of the turtles from when I was a kid. Okay, maybe when I was in junior high. That's when the turtles came along. Now looking at Raph, I did have some kind of, I think it was glue up on top of the head, but I was able to scrape that away. I think my favorite thing, besides, you know, them looking just like the turtles from my childhood, I think my favorite part is still the die cast here in the lower legs. It's got some heft to it. Besides that, it's the stability that it adds to the figure, lowering its center of gravity down low, where you can just... You just put it down and he's gonna stand up. Even when the feet aren't exactly flat, this figure is going to stand. And even going for one-legged poses, it's pretty easy. Yes, you still have to balance it out. You have to shift his weight right or left. But with the weight, it's... There you go. For articulation, there's a ball joint at the top of the neck and at the bottom of the neck. So you get some side to side. You get some up. You get some down. But you add the bottom of the neck and you get down. You get up. You get side to side. And then you get swivel. Notice that when I looked up, it didn't really go much further there is a joint in here. Now on Leonardo, I wasn't one to get too crazy with it. I thought it was just a slide up and down, but it's an actual ball joint for the shell. You can shift this down and you can get more movement in the head. It's easier to show on Michelangelo. There's actual side to side movement. There's up. Up is to get out of the way of the legs, I suppose, and then down to get out of the way of the head. Also on Michelangelo, I discovered whenever I pushed that you can see up in there and there's your ball joint. Oh yeah, you have articulated shell here. Continuing on with Michelangelo because they're essentially the same figure. For the shoulder you have butterfly forward and then butterfly up. So it gets a lot of range of movement and I haven't even moved the hinge in the actual shoulder yet. Hinging out, you get swivel around. There's a swivel at the bicep, double elbow, bandai wrist, you get side to side or you can set it to go up and down and then you have swivel. You can see some articulation in the torso or at least a cut right there and then at the waist, and you can get swivel, and you can get some side to side, but not a lot of forward and back unless you just manipulate the shit out of it. Even with the shell being a soft piece of plastic right there. In fact, you can pull this down to see his pecs. There's actually a sculpt underneath the shell. The hips you can kind of drop down, and it's on a ball joint. That's to get further range of movement out. The leg actually goes up into the crotch piece. So you can get out that far. You can get forward. And it's not the shell kicking it out like that. It's the actual waist piece. And then back, that's where the shell comes into play when you can shift it up and you can get more back. There's a swivel. Right now it's actually swiveling on the ball, but there's a, another swivel at the muscle at the top. But it's not really needed there because you can get that much movement. Double knee about there. The knee pad gets in the way. It's, you can swivel it and then hinge back 
hinge forward. The ball allows you for a little bit of rocker ankle, and then there's the toe joint. Now for accessories, Michelangelo comes with the standard turtle head. All four turtles come with this head. And then he comes with this smirky, grinning, just told a joke kind of look. I want to like this because it fits Mikey's personality, but I don't know. I guess it's the asymmetricalness of it that kind of bugs me. And I can't tell you if asymmetricalness is actually a word, but I'm going with it. I'm just rolling right along with the review. For Raph, he comes with the standard head. Then he comes with kind of an angry screaming head. And this works for me. It has an anger to it. It fits Raph's personality. Now, it's pretty easy to pop the head off. What I recommend doing whenever you do pop it out is to pull the bandana out. The bandana tie, there's only one for both heads, so you have to switch it out when you switch the heads. I hate to say it, but it kind of loosens up a little bit. You're rocking along doing poses or popping the head. When you pop the head, that may go flying. So whenever I get crazy with the figures, I pull that out and then put it back on before I actually take a picture or put it on the shelf. Now for weapons, Michelangelo comes with a couple of sets of ninchaku or nunchucks, whatever you prefer to call them. One set has sculpted chains, so they're set in a position. It kind of gives you a sense of motion, but they're stuck in that one pose. Now the other set comes with real chains on it. These are cool. It's real little metal chains, but you can't get any action out of them. They just kind of droop whenever he's holding them. Raph, he comes with the two Psy. These look good. There's a nice metallic sheen to them. Both turtles come with uh, standard belt pieces on the back, and they also come with interchangeable pieces. For Michelangelo, he comes with four holes to hold the nunchucks with the chain on them. And then for Raph, he's got holsters for the Psy. Now like Leonardo, uh, the sides are kind of loose inside the belt, so you can't get sitting upside down or doing handstands or anything with these in it. The nunchucks, though, they're nice and tight in there, and the instructions do warn about paint rub whenever you do this. But I haven't had a problem, and I've been putting the weapons in their hands, I've been putting the weapons back here, and the paint has held up pretty good. Now with Leonardo and Donatello, Donatello got a piece of pizza, Leonardo got a manhole cover. Bandai kind of went more intricate when it came to Michelangelo and Raphael. With Michelangelo, since he came with two sets of his own weapon, he got the grappling hook. And this looks good. There's some paintwork to it. And there's actual twine or rope or string or whatever going from the handhold to the hook itself. With Raph, he comes with a throwing star. It has a nice metallic sheen to it. And then I think this is a kunai, a throwing knife. It's, it's a little blade. You throw it. It's kind of a darker metal than the Psy. And then for both turtles, they come with the same set of hands. You get two fists. You get two tight grip hands for their weapons. It's closed and just has a hole through it. Then they have like slightly more open hands, but it can still grip weapons, grip the grappling hook, grip whatever you want it to. And then the splayed out open hands. Just to compare these with the other lines, here's Raph with the NECA original comic Turtles Michelangelo. And then again with the Playmates 1990 movie Donatello. But if you're wanting to mix and match lines, here is Raph with the Marvel Legends Iron Fist. I feel like this is a good scale. Yeah, they're kind of cartoony to go in your Marvel Legends, but they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you're mixing lines, then get ready for different aesthetics. So at the end of the day, I am super, super happy to have finished this whole set. But like most lines I collect, I want more. I need a Shredder, I need a Casey Jones, I need a Rocksteady and Bebop, I need a Krang, I need an April O'Neil. I need more characters in this line because really when it comes down to it, this is my favorite iteration of the Turtles. Yes, there's the original comic Turtles, I like those, but when I fell down the Turtles manhole, this is the version that did it. It was the cartoon, it was the clothes, it was the merchandising, it was the Archie comics, and then I went back and read the original comics. The 1990 movie was a huge deal at the time, and hell, I was in high school, and I still went and saw it several times. So the Turtles have always been a big deal, but only certain versions. I haven't watched the new Nicktoon much, so I'm not as familiar with that. I'm sure someday, when I have a lot of free time, I'll sit down and watch that. But at the moment, these SH figure art versions, these are my Turtles. Now they've shown Shredder several times. We haven't had any solicitation info on that, so it's not a guaranteed done deal yet, but I want it to be. I'm now waiting impatiently for them to show more pictures, give us some scale, give us some size. And I think they're running polls, what people want to see, but I'm afraid that they'll want to re-up Turtles before getting too far into the lines. So that means movie looks, different versions of the Turtles. But I want one line to settle down, concentrate on one era, and give us a lot of characters from that era. I know companies have to refresh with the main characters. In that sense, I almost wish they had released Leonardo with 
Rocksteady, Donatello with Bebop, Raphael with Shredder, Michelangelo with Casey Jones or Krang or somebody. But hindsight and armchair quarterbacking is 2020, or I think I messed that up. Anyway, I'm glad to have the set complete, and now we can move on, and now I wait. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, I'll catch you on the foosh. <laughs>